Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to our series on Can My Vehicle Be Towed? This week we're going to be looking at Hondas. Now this is going to be a bit unique as far as the, the videos we've done so far in this series because Honda, like many vehicle manufacturers, actually doesn't make any more flat towable vehicles for present year models. Obviously there's plenty of previous year models that can be towed, but if we're talking about new vehicles entering the market, Honda actually doesn't make any new towed vehicles, and that's actually becoming more and more true. There's actually just a few vehicle manufacturers. We've already looked at three of them, but there's a shrinking number of vehicle manufacturers that actually make vehicles that can be flat towed. So if you're not familiar, Motorhome Magazine actually puts out a list of flat towable vehicles every year. It's called their dinghy towing guide. And you'll see year over year, we actually do this every year to kind of update our information that we have here at the office. But if you look at it every year, it kind of continues to shrink and more and more manufacturers drop off the list. And again, Honda has been one of those manufacturers in recent years. However, again, there's tons of previous year models that can be flat towed and they're still very popular, which is why we're covering that here. Hondas are one of those cars that definitely do make for great flat towable vehicles. Uh, the selection's a little bit more limited. Again, just kind of uh, par for the course as far as this video is gonna go. But, uh, but they're still great cars. So, and they're great as well for daily drivers or family vehicles or that kind of thing. So that's always a great plus as well. So we're gonna talk about our complexity scale as we have every week. And so our one on a complexity scale is gonna be an older Jeep Wrangler, it's plug and play. And then a 10 on our complexity scale is going to be our Ford C-Max, which again, marketed as flat towable, not really flat towable, huge problem. So <laughs> that's our scale here. Uh, and so where on this scale do Hondas fall? Well, the flat towable variants that are, exist out there for Honda, again, none of them are gonna be brand new. They're all gonna be a little older, but we're gonna give them a five. And the reason we're gonna give them a five is because they're actually very simple in most cases. The thing that bumps them up a little bit more maybe than they otherwise would be is that in most cases, you're going to have a lot of fuses that need to be pulled. Uh, they're one of those vehicles for whatever reason, um, that just require a lot of fuses to be pulled in most of their popular models at least. There are a few where that's not the case, but in a lot of their popular vehicles like the CRV, uh, you're gonna have that problem. You're gonna need to pull some fuses. So just because of that, it's not like it's a huge thing. Pulling fuses isn't terribly complex, but it is just kind of an added step that you have to take that you don't always have to take with vehicles. And so for that reason, instead of maybe being a little bit lower, like a three or a four, they get a five. So that's our rationale on the complexity scale. So what would you need for a Honda in order to make it flat towable? Well, in most cases, you're going to need a charger of some kind. And I actually kind of have a funny story about this. So the Honda CRV, which I mentioned, uh, is actually the reason we invented the Toad Battery Charger Plus. Dan, our president, uh, first started encountering this kind of right around the time uh, that the CRV was really kind of uh, in vogue, kind of that 2012 to 2014 were kind of their final year models. And that was when that car was extremely popular for flat towing. And those are still the most popular variants of, of CRV. Uh, but essentially, we started getting all these calls that people's cars were dying when they were using a braking system. And just for reference, the RVI Brake 3, which was the only brake we had out at the time, that will not drain your car's battery over a full day of towing. It's physically incapable of doing so. Uh, it's just super power friendly. Uh, so that's not a thing that can happen. So, and it was just this one vehicle. So we had no idea why this was occurring. Uh, and we finally got a couple in here to test. And what we found was that this vehicle would actually drain its own battery as it was towing. It's something that's now called parasitic drain and is actually extremely common across most flat towable vehicles now. Uh, but it was new at the time because most vehicles prior to that, that was kind of right around the time that more electronic and computerized components were being integrated into cars. And so it just wasn't a thing uh, prior to that car. And so after that, obviously that's kind of snowballed. And in some cases, like, you know, we looked at some Chevy vehicles that kind of take it to an extreme a few weeks ago, but that's, like I said, since become a very common feature in cars, a lot of them have this parasitic drain uh, where they're draining their own battery as you're towing above and beyond any third party products that you have installed. But that was really the first iteration of that, that we had ever seen. So that's why we invented Toad Battery Charger Plus, and since then, obviously, now it can be used across many cars. But needless to say, again, for the CRV specifically, but most of Honda's cars, you will need a battery charger of some kind. And then in some cases, you're also going to need a dedicated outlet, like our 12 volt battery direct kit. Not everyone, there's only a couple models where that's true, but it's worth mentioning. So make sure you check your owner's manual 
uh, to see if that's the case for yours, or you can just test it out, plug your brake in, see if it works, and then maybe leave it for a bit so you can make sure the outlet doesn't time out. Uh, but regardless, battery charge is gonna be pretty norm for these particular vehicles. So what would our recommendation be across Hondas? Well, again, there's no current year models that actually can be flat towed. So our recommendation is actually going to be the tried and true CRV. It's just the best one that they make as far as flat towing. It's not a van necessarily like the Odyssey or something like that, but it's, it, it's kind of that middle ground, a great size. It's not necessarily a sedan either. Uh, but it's a great car, uh, whether you have a family or whether you're traveling by yourself or whatever the case may be, uh, it's, it just works out really nicely. And again, as long as you have a battery charger, you're gonna be just fine as far as its parasitic drain goes, uh, but it's pretty easy to set up into its plateau mode. Still very popular to this day. Again, the last model of CRVs are gonna be 2014 that can actually be flat towed, uh, I believe. And so you're gonna wanna look for something prior to that. Uh, but as long as you're okay going with maybe a slightly older vehicle, um, feels weird that 2014 is slightly older, if I can just say that too, but um, 2014 and older than that, uh, they make for great flat towable cars. So definitely don't count those out. Take a look at them if you're in the market for a new one or you're switching. And if you've got any questions on anything in this video or anything in a previous video we've done in this series, make sure to reach out. We're available by phone, chat, or email. In the meantime, guys, happy RDing. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out today. We've got tons of other great videos on products, stories, and tips and tricks. Before you go check any of those out though, we would really love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe here on this video. It sounds a little cliche, but it actually really does help us significantly here on the YouTube side of things to just continue to produce great content for you. So if you've got any questions on this video or any of the others that you do watch, don't hesitate to reach out. We love hearing from you. In the meantime, guys, happy RVing.